Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay Rome, I'm the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already, and if you haven't, I have no idea why you haven't. Why haven't you? Go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you for coming on this journey. It's been one heck of a ride so far. Thank you so much for supporting me and my vision. I truly appreciate you guys. Let's keep it rolling today with another review. So... A few months ago, I was in New York, just walking around the city, and I happened to come across a perfumery that I had not experienced before. I had heard about them, but I hadn't experienced them before, so I wandered inside, I got a few samples, and I was like, huh, okay. And then I heard about a new release that they were putting out, so that tempted me even more to explore the house. So today's review is going to be on none other than DS and Durga, Grapefruit Generation. Grapefruit Generation came out in 2021. This is their brand new release. Uh, the nose behind the fragrance is David Seth Maltz. For the notes, in the top, we have pomelo skin, elm leaf, and silver. In the mid, we have hawthorn flower, tuberose, and paradison. And in the base, we have cork, grapefruit, and animalic musk. Animalic musk. No two words have ever scared me more an animalic musk but we're gonna keep it rolling because if i gotta take the hit to inform you and to you know get you the information you guys need i will take the hit because i care about y'all all right sizes and prices this is a 50 mil bottle it is going to run you 175 dollars usd the, the 100 mil bottle runs 260 so not too bad on the price point not too bad on the price point i think as frag heads we've all paid much much more for bottles of fragrance so 175 and 260 not too bad off the mark there so when i read this product description i was like what i i honestly did not get it and i had to write it down for you guys so that i could accurately give you the description so if i'm looking at my notes i apologize i just want to give you an accurate description of what the company says this fragrance is about um okay so the description is a far off grove bury a gem in the ground surround it with flowering bushes pack a rare animal to lay over the gem and spray on your wrist i have no idea what that means i really don't are we like telling a unicorn to lay down over a gem and then we're gonna get grapefruit generation. I have no idea, but that is the description. That is the weirdest damn thing I've ever heard in my life. I just thought you guys might get a kick out of it. I have no idea how to make heads or tails of it, but that's okay, let's keep the ball rolling. So the presentation, this is a nice minimalistic bottle. You get grapefruit generation sticker on the front with the DS and Durga as well. You get the DSD. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up. You get the logo in the top of the cap as well. And you get all your pertinent information on the bottom of the bottle. This is a plastic cap. It's nice, heavy plastic, plastic nonetheless. It does fit snugly into place. However, I'm only doing this for review purposes. I would never pick this up from the cap. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad form. All right, so it is my scent of the day. I'm going to give you a fresh spray on my hand to remind myself of the opening. Atomizer is pretty good. So the first spray smells very fruity, yet it also smells cold and metallic at the same time. So the visualization I'm getting, and I have two visualizations, but the visualization I'm getting first and foremost is your you have a bowl of fruit and this bowl of fruit has been chilled and you take it out of the refrigerator, set it on the kitchen island of a unfurnished loft with no heat in the middle of Midtown Manhattan. That's exactly the visualization I'm getting. Weird, yes I know, but with that kind of a description, my kind of description doesn't seem weird at all. So uh, just go with it on that, okay? So that's what I'm getting here. Um, like I said, it's fruity, yet it's cold and metallic at the same time. Dare I say industrial. Um, 
The pomelo skin is kind of sweet. It's kind of airy. It's kind of crystallized. Here's the second visualization I'm getting. So you're at your grandmother's house. We all have this in our grandmother's house. It's winter. You're at your grandmother's house visiting for the holidays. She has this bowl of potpourri sitting on the living room table. And all you can smell is this potpourri with the Christmas lights on, with the fireplace going, and all you can smell is this potpourri just wafting up into the living room of your grandmother's house. That's exactly the second visualization I get because I've had this experience many, many times. This is exactly what it smells like to me. Not a bad smell, not a bad smell, kind of reminiscent of my childhood, which is why I attribute it so highly. I love that smell, but that is exactly what I'm getting. Um, it's going to sound weird. It's going to sound weird, but I have to give another visualization to it. So the pomelo skin smells like a decent, like a niche version of insect repellent. Just go with me. Go with me. This is a very good insect repellent. It repels mosquitoes and you smell good at the same time. Not like that, you know, weed off or whatever the heck you guys have sprayed before. No, this is a niche version insect repellent that you don't mind wearing that wards off mosquitoes but has you smelling great at the same time. That's exactly how it comes across to my nose. Weird? Yeah. Enticing? Absolutely. Um, the hawthorn flower and the tuberose definitely are present in the mid. I absolutely get those florals. But the paradisome, let's go over that for a second. The paradisome. Paradisome is a captive molecule um, that was patented in 1996 by Fermanish. And while I don't get a perceptible smell to paradisome, I will say it is similar in vibe to ISOE Super. And the one fragrance that I know that has ISOE Super, Molecule 01. So that's the type of vibe I'm getting from the paradisome here. The cork is very, very photorealistic in the base. If you had grapefruit wine, I don't even know if that exists. If it does, let me know in the comments because I might want a bottle. If you have grapefruit wine and you uncork it and put your nose up to that cork right after you get it out of the bottle of the grapefruit wine, that's exactly what I'm smelling here in the base. The cork is so photorealistic. It's sort of spicy. It's it's, it's corky, <laughs> for a lack of a better uh, description. It's corky. If you've smelled cork from uh, wine or champagne, that's exactly what you're going to get in the base. It's an intriguing type of smell. Um, so about an hour in, the cork is very prominent. It's prominent now, but I know what I'm going to get in about an hour. It's going to be even more prominent. Um, and the, like I said, cork from grapefruit wine. And then in the base, when it starts to dry down, here is another visualization. So I'm doing laundry, right? I'm doing laundry in my grandmother's house. And I get the most elegant fabric softener smell in the dry down of this fragrance. Now, I know, I know I've gone through three visualizations. It's hard to wrap your head around. I've gone through this, the description from the company about wild animals laying on gems. I get that. However, it all comes together to be a very, very pleasant and intriguing smell. Overall, I give this an eight and a half out of 10. Eight and a half out of 10 because it's gonna last seven and a half to eight hours on my skin. It does that for my skin. I can only speak from my experience. It may last longer, may last a shorter time on your skin, but for my skin, eight and a half, or seven to eight hours, beautiful. I like it. I like it. This is very unique to me and my nose, and I am a fan. So I want to thank DS and Durga for putting this bottle in front of my nose for my review. Thank you all. I appreciate you for uh, supplying the product for my vision and my channel and my social media. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Guys, that's my time. I know this video is running long, so I got to get back to work. Uh, that's my time. Thank you so much. Let me know in the comments below if you have uh, tried Grapefruit Generation, what you think of it, if you're going to try it. 
I'll leave some links in the description below. That's my time. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.